Now, Member of Parliament for Second D, Andrew Aja Parmesa says, John Mohammed's petition was only an attempt to invite the apex cause to perpetrate fraud on the electorate since the petition was without merit. Uh, you've been here with us. In fact, we spoke yesterday and uh, you know that today was the judgment day of the 2013 elections petition and uh, consistent with the color that is associated with victory, uh, which obviously is white post the decision of the Supreme Court, because at the time that the judgment was being delivered, I was home. I watched the entire proceedings from the very beginning of where council announced themselves, indeed where parties announced themselves through council, through to the decision being rendered by the president of the court. And I think that it is a well-deserved victory. Uh, of course, I was not surprised in the least about the decision that the Supreme Court delivered, not because I knew as a matter of fact what the court was going to say, but clearly having read the petition, having read the responses, having some knowledge of the law and what transpired during the proceedings, I was clear in my mind. Uh, of course, I mentioned to you yesterday yes. that the elections petition as presented by Mr. Mahama and the NDC, if you like, uh, had no merit whatsoever and that to the extent that the crux of their case was to say that because the electoral commissioner in her announcement used the total votes cast figure as opposed to the total valid votes cast which is what the constitution requires for purposes of declaring the outcome of an election to suggest to the court that by reason of the fact only that the electoral commissioner made that error, that should be held against the will of the people as indicative in the total valid vote cast. And on that basis, make a declaration that nobody won 50% of the votes that were cast in the 2020 general election. For me, to be charitable uh, was to invite the court to perpetrate a fraud on the people of Ghana. With an attempt to invite Absolutely. The yes. To fraud. Absolutely. Without a doubt. On the election. Because you listened to the cross examination of the General Secretary of the NDC. He himself admitted that it would be wrong for anybody to use the total vote cast figure as basis for a declaration. And so to ask the court to use that figure as basis for declaring that nobody won the election. Without due respect. Without due respect. So you think I've that often cited a simple example. Look, when you use millions, then you get to confuse a lot of people. But if you reduce the numbers to bare simple figures hundreds of and thousands, hundreds and thousands, yeah. then you begin to appreciate what it is that the NDC sought to get the Supreme Court to do. So I was not surprised at all that the petition was dismissed as being without merit.